Hey, Susan. Hey, we're um, going to uh, release one of our golden eagles back to the wild today. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't had time to put together an eagle release for the public. This one is doing well, flying around quite a bit, starting to uh, become a danger to itself in captivity here. So we're going to uh, go ahead and get, and get him released. And as you can see, the, the one that's on the upper perch is certainly the one we're going to release right now. And let's see where we're at here. Hi, kiddo. Yes, you need to. Okay, we got gotcha. you. Okay, there's my baby. There's my boy. Uh, <laughs> let this down so you can see me working on him here. As you see, he's very much wants to get out of here. I have to be very careful now because he's struggling and I've got to get a hold of those feet before they get a hold of me. Got his feet. There we go. And here's my little friend. Good boy. There we are. What a good kid. How are you doing, kiddo? You've been doing great. Yes, you are. You're doing great. And uh, I got him ready and raring to go. Unfortunately, we can't do this as a as a public release. Yes, I know you're so fat. You're doing okay. Which is which? This is a male, and uh, definitely needs to uh, get back to the wild. And and of course, the really the goal is always. You just gotta push it and push it here. Just okay, thank you. Uh-huh. I just had trouble. Yeah. So let's see how my friend is doing. Watch your step, it's really quite icy, Sue. So is this one that had the concussion? No, this is the one that um, was hit by a car and had the road rash on its wing. Oh, okay. It was so bad. Yes, came in at night. Okay. Now this is a little hood. Um, we're going to try to keep it quiet when we're transported so it doesn't get too terrified of being moved around the car. And so we put this on its head to keep it quiet. There we go. Okay, kiddo. You know, as much as we like to make this a public event where everybody gets to see the eagle fly away, the truth is the eagle's safety and health is the most important thing. And so the way that he's acting, he's doing good. And I'm not going to put off for a week or two or three with him in captivity bouncing around uh, just so we can get a little, a little PR. So this one's going to go back to the wild without any public fanfare. So... Let's go driving. How are you coming? You going? All right. Well, we are out uh, on the desert right here. We have our eagle. You can come and look, Sue, if you want, real quick. I'll get down here so people can see with this, with the GoPro that's on my head. Here's our eagle. Um, he is on, on the perch. He's hooded. And we're going to go ahead and cut him loose today. Again, here's the most dangerous part, and that is uh, getting him out of the box. And even though he's hooded, if I don't get a hold of those talons right, I'm going to be in real trouble. So I have to get in there very, very quickly and grab those feet. There we go. Got him. And uh, here we are. Here's my friend. Get this wing in. Long. Here we go. There we go. Pretty guy. Pretty boy. Tell us what happened to this one. This eagle was uh, hit by a car. Um, it, nothing was broken, but its wing was scraped up really, really bad. Uh, and so he had an issue along those lines. And we've had him for oh, a couple of months or more to let those 
to let those injuries heal up. And uh, here we go. Here's our friend. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna let you go in just a minute, sweetie, I promise. In just a minute, we're gonna let you go. And so, you know, unfortunately, we usually like to release them at a high point, but it's really, really snowy and it's muddy and it's sloppy. And we would have gone another couple of miles that way to those little to those little foothills off of the distance and release them off there. So we actually go up and soar. Uh, here, what will probably happen is we'll probably just fly a short distance and land. This is this is prime golden eagle habitat. This is the area they like to be. Now it is the end of February. We do have our all our golden eagles are pair bonded now, and so we have to release him away from any nesting pairs. Otherwise, they'll they'll harass him and drive him off. And so this is a good spot for him to be released back to the wild and for him to go find his way back back into the wild where he belongs. So are we ready for you guy? My pretty little brown eyed. Now he's now he's got brown eyes, so he's not a full adult, so he, he would not be nesting this year, but he'll probably nest in the next couple of years. So here we go, you ready Sue? You ready kiddo? Don't come back. Just keep going. Now he's very overweight. He's been eating all he wants to eat for, for literally a couple of months. Uh, he had a crop full of food. And so he's as heavy as he is, he's flying quite well. And he just wanted to get away from us. And he's just gonna keep going until he's, he's completely out of sight. And as I said, we, we like to do eagle releases where the general public can come and watch this. But unfortunately, he, here's a guy that was very much uh, ready to go. We did not have the time to put together uh, an eagle release and and so his health is far more important um, than than a public event. So we just needed to get him out and and here we've had a long winter. Uh, we we have about uh, five or six days of hopefully no, no more storminess. So he'll have five or six days of good weather. He can go hunt. He can continue to feed himself and get himself back acclimated to be uh, a wild eagle again. So thanks everybody. A, a, a wonderful eagle release. And now we've got uh, another eagle that, that uh, we are still working on. But uh, one less mouth to feed. So we, we appreciate that. Thank you so much everybody. We'll talk to you later.